you're probably going to be just as surprised as I am to know that there's a cloud storage that you can host on your own BPS. Plus, it's super powerful and it's open source. So let's go check it out. What's up, everyone? So this is Nextcloud and it's an open source application that you can install on your BPS and it's 100% free. The idea of Nextcloud is to gain control of your own storage back. That means that you're not going to use Google Drive. You're not going to use something else like Dropbox and you're going to use something that's going to be stored on your own BPS. Now, the only cost that you will have is the BPS hosting and the amount of storage that you're going to have is the amount that's going to be tied to your BPS. But at the end of the day, if you are already hosting a website and you have extra storage, then this is an amazing app to use on your BPS. So as I mentioned before, Enix, it's Nextcloud and it's on version 10 as of this video, and it's available on your mobile phone for Android and iOS and even the desktop. So right now I already have Nextcloud installed on my BPS and I've used server avatar for the installation. If you want to know how to install it, the video will be linked in the description. Now I've already installed Nextcloud here and this is my actual storage and it's like a file manager, but with a lot of features available inside of here. Now, before I show you how it works, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you are looking for a BPS to host Nextcloud, this is a great option. So you can go ahead and check out BPS here, going into the hosting options, and we're going to go into BPS hosting. They have several plans available all the way from $4.99 to $19.99, but there's an extra discount coupon code that I want to show you how to apply. Now, as I mentioned before, the cloud storage will be tied to the amount of storage that you have available on the BPS, okay? So in this case, let me show you the KBM8, which is $19.99 a month, but it's gonna be even lower with my coupon code. So if we select that plan, which is the KBM8, we're gonna jump over to this section and Hostinger is going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 24 months because you're gonna lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, plus you'll be good to go for two years. Now over here where it says have a coupon code, you are gonna type in or paste in my code, which is SAS Master, and the price is gonna drop to $431.78. Now, remember, this is for the highest plan on the BPS and it's really powerful. So you'll get a, a lot of speed with this plan, all right? Okay, so let's jump into next cloud. As I mentioned before, it's like a file manager, but really powerful on the cloud. That means that we can store our files and this is not going to be shared with a third provider. That means that, for example, if you upload files on Google Drive, Dropbox, etc., well, they are using those files for purposes to know what you're doing and it's not private at all, okay? And in this case, it is because it's on your BPS. Now, over here, you can just drop in a file really easily. For example, if I wanna drop in this image, I'll drop it inside of here and here we go. It just uploaded here into my cloud. You can create folders, you can search the folders, you can organize, you can create members to collaborate, you can create cloud storages from this main one so they can have their own cloud storage and all within that super easy to install application on server avatar. So for example, we got our personal files that we can upload here. We got our recent files. You got favorites that you can obviously favorite from the files they have available there. You got shared files that you can share from here. So you don't need to use something else to share those files. You can tag these and you can create folders right here. There's also the file settings available right here. And you're going to find out that this is really powerful. Okay. You got your file settings right here with additional settings, web dev, and keyboard shortcuts all from here. So that means that it's keyboard sensitive if you're gonna use this. You can hit command delete, uh, control delete if you're on Windows, etc., and it will work. You don't have to like right click on it or click on something to for actually to work. Keyboards work too, okay? Now, those are the main features. I mean, obviously it's a, like a file manager and you get a all the files available here. But what it can do additionally from that is kind of crazy. You can do automations, you can connect other things, you can even back up Google Drive or other things from here, okay? So if you click on our avatar on the top right here, there's the options for personal settings and you got your administration settings. There's also apps, etc. In administration settings, you're gonna find out that it's really powerful and complex that has all these details available here. Now, don't mind that right now, it's searching for other things. So we got, for example, the basic settings you can set right here for the Ajax, Web, Cron, et cetera, the profile, those things. You got your sharing, which I mentioned before. These are for the sharing settings. You got security settings. And yes, you can enable firewalls and additional applications for this. For now, it already has a brute force enabled, and that's an application that's additional to this that you can enable or disable if you'd want to use it or not. Server side encryption, password policy, and all these details for the security. You got theming options. You got artificial intelligence 
bottled into this. You got your app API. So you can use API for this. You got administration privileges, the activity notifications. There's the flow, which I mentioned that lets you automate certain things here by enabling these features. For example, if you want to enable analytics, approvals to use as a flow, if you want to approve files before they're actually uh, tied to the cloud storage, or if you want to deny them and just get removed from the cloud storage, this is possible with that application. And there's more of these available right now. There's also, for example, the apps that I have enabled right now. So you're going to see that there's a ton of apps available right here. Some of them are not enabled. These ones are installed by default, but they are not enabled. We can go ahead and disable these if we don't want to use them or enable them if we do. There's the active apps, disabled apps, the app bundles. So several apps available here. As I mentioned before, there's features apps, customization, there's dashboards, apps that you can install, there's file apps, games, integrations, all of this available right here that you can just go ahead and enable really easily with Nextcloud. Now, remember, you can also create accounts inside of here. So again, click on the avatar, go to accounts, and you're going to find the main account, which is the one I've created for um, Nextcloud, which is the admin account, but we can create more accounts. So if I go to new account, you can see here, I can give it account name, display name, its own password, email, set the group. So in the admin group or create another group, you can also set the quota for the limit here and the, hold on, click outside, the manager, in this case, Nextcloud. And you can create a brand new account right here really fast and really easily with Nextcloud. Now, as I mentioned before, this is really amazing because you're going to get all this for free since it's open source. So if you want to find out about all the features available on Nextcloud, I do recommend that you jump into their site. They even give you an instant trial. So if you want to check it out before you install it on your uh, VPS, that is possible. But I mean, if you're going to get this for free, I definitely recommend that you test it out on your VPS right away and have your own cloud storage that you can start using right now. And if you plan to grab a hosting plan, don't forget to use my coupon code on Hostinger. And that's a wrap.